Let's get to the first impressions of Jason, though. What they tell me? Tell him, let's tell everybody first impressions. Jason was nuts when you first met him, right? He was a little bit nuts. So, uh, <laughs> well, and the thing was, is when I came in, you know, I was still on the uh, PUP list, and I came in, and then when uh, Brooks got hurt, I, I went in at right guard for a couple games. I'm sure he was not happy about that at all. Probably spent a lot of time telling me what to do. And the thing I remember most is, I believe it was the Raiders game. It was, I think, a Wednesday yeah, practice. I already know where you're going with this. Yeah, and um, I remember I was I was trying to get this block down. Obviously, I had combination block. Yeah, I hadn't practiced a whole lot with Jason, and I just remember I did something very wrong. He did not like it, and he just motherfucked me for a good like minute straight, <laughs> and just told me how terrible I was, how I fucked everything up, and if I did it again, he didn't want to play. I, and, I remember yeah. it being a lot more encouraging. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I, I remember at that point I was like, all right, let's not fuck up anything else anymore. And that was my ultimate goal. As long as he's not mad, I'm going to have a good day. <laughs> well, you were yeah, quick, but, yeah, but yeah, time out. Go ahead, Snow. But in that game, that particular block, okay, you ended up having that situation yeah. and you performed it perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. But it wouldn't have happened. <laughs> That wouldn't have happened if we didn't experience that little, a, that a little good deal. Yeah. Motivational yeah. corrective criticism. Correct. <laughs> Who doesn't like some good corrective criticism? Exactly. Okay. I think I was more afraid of him kicking my ass in the middle of the game than I was getting yelled at by Stout. So <laughs> that might have been the motivation there. Well, you've been quickly a, a, a favorite of the room, very fast. Um, not just because of your play on the field, but as a person. Uh, you're a personality as everybody's being uh, witness to right now. You're about to be best man at our left tackle's wedding. But groomsman, groom's groomsman, groomsman, just a groomsman. Groomsman? Just groomsman? Just groomsman? Yeah. Oh, my bad. Sorry. He's got brothers. I understand that. They've been yeah. there for, right. you know, well, a couple still decades up there. more. You've only yes. known him for a couple years. He That's was still... my best man. We'll clarify that. I don't ah. have, I'm an only child. That's why. Yeah, I don't know. How has that relationship evolved? You know, Jordan, he's a pretty shitty person. Um, <laughs> not a big fan of him. I just got stuck beside of him. But, I mean, all jokes aside, I mean, uh, we're, we're kind of like two peas in a pod. And, you know, it's been great playing beside him and seeing him grow. Obviously, he came from rugby, and mm -hmm. he's still got a lot to learn about football. He didn't grow up with it and down in Australia. So... But, um, you know, being beside him, it's been great. I mean, he's, he's been like a brother to me. And being an only child, that's something I've always wanted. So, And, and I've always been there for him. And, I mean, I, he's, he's just like family to me. So, super excited for him. He's getting married uh, July 1st. Let's go, Jordy. Week, so, you know, congrats to him. Congrats to Nikki. And looking forward to drinking a lot more there, too. So, well, let's yeah. go. We're just going to keep it rolling. Oh, yeah.